guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I went to Costco and I got a huge haul for, to share with you guys. And when I say I have a huge haul, I mean a huge haul. So here's, here's my receipt and it's pretty big. And at the end of the video, I'll share with you guys what I spent. Um, so keep watching, stay tuned till the end so I can tell you what I spent and how I spent it and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I do want to say though that this is my second attempt to recording this video. What happened the first time was I set up everything and I turned on my camera and it died. So then I went and I grabbed a second um, camera and I went through the entire haul explaining everything to you guys or so I thought and I put everything away thinking like I got all the footage that I needed for you guys and I went to go sit down and edit it and there's nothing there. So I guess what happened was my memory was full and I didn't even record anything. So I just stood in my kitchen for who knows how long, holding up groceries to you guys, explaining it, and you weren't even watching. So, um, because I did put everything away, some of the things you're going to see are, um, have already been opened and they're not in the big, uh, Costco bulk packaging. So I'll show you like, if something comes in a pack of 24, I'll show you like one of them instead of bringing like 24 little items to show you. Um, also, there are things that we bought that will not be in this video because I already put it away and there's no way to show you. Example, um, we bought a 25 pound bag of cat food that we already put into a contain an airtight container. Um, so I'm not going to go into the garage and go get that. That's, we bought cat food. Uh, we also bought a 24 pack of the um, Stone IPA. Uh, that's already in the mini fridge and I don't feel like that's necessary. I'm just going to tell you guys that we got that. Other than that, everything's pretty much here. Some of the boxes are already open. Some of the kids already got into some of the snacks. They couldn't wait. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you first all of the freezer and fridge items so that way I can get those put back away because right now it's really hot. It's it's about 9.30 here right now. It's pretty late at night. I tried doing this video early in the day um, and I just said, you know what, I'll wait till the kids go down, bring it all back out and start again. So um, let's get started. So for the first freezer thing, we got a bag of the organic broccoli florets. This comes in four one pound bags and these are great because you can just pop them in the microwave. They only take three to four minutes to cook and these are great. The kids love to eat broccoli with us. Um, it's hard to get kids to eat vegetables and this is one that they will eat. So, um, and it's quick and easy and that always helps. Uh, next we got this huge thing of Foster Farms chicken. We eat a lot of chicken in many different ways. So this is always nice to get. Um, they do offer organic chicken at Costco, but it's $2 more per pound and you only get half of it. So I only, I just got the regular chicken. It comes with two chicken breasts in a single package and, uh, there's six of them. So what's that? I also got these are the yogurt squeezable tubes and these are the Stonyfield Yo Kids Organic Squeezers. They come in, there's four strawberry and four blueberry in this package, but there's, like I said before, I unboxed a lot of this stuff and put it away. So there's actually this little box, there's three of them. So I just brought out one to show you guys. Um, we keep these in the freezer because uh, they act like popsicles for the kids. The kids love yogurt. We use the Yoplait in our regular fridge, but these are like popsicles for the kids. So that's a good option for them. Uh, we also got the Hebrew National hot dogs. We got the buns for the hot dogs. This actually, um, 
from Costco, you get two of these small bags and one big bag, but I just brought out one to show you guys. Um, we got hamburger buns. Um, we use these for hamburgers, pulled pork sandwiches, all that kind of stuff. Um, I got this Dave's Killer Bread, and this is the 20, the organic, 21 whole grains and seeds. Uh, we eat wheat bread here in the house, but I wanted something different for myself, uh, a little bit more healthier, and this is a great option for me, so I've been loving that. Um, we also got the Mandarin Orange Chicken. This is a favorite. Um, this is great because Cole and I love this Mandarin Orange Chicken, but it also, the way you cook it, you put it in the oven to crisp up the chicken, and then you'll put it in a pan and pour the sauce over it. But our kids are picky, they don't like the sauce, so we like to set aside some of the plain chicken without sauce, and they just act like chicken nuggets. So that way I don't have to make this and then something else for them. So this is always a great staple in our house. It's quick, it's easy. We have four kids, quick and easy works for us. I also got, this is Cole's favorite type of meat. This is the marinated skirt steak. Um, this, we like, tacos you throw it on the grill we've used this many times for parties everybody loves this so that's a good choice to have um we picked up some bacon we every weekend i i grew up having large family breakfast every weekend so that's something a tradition i like to start with my family and my kids so i picked up bacon we do bacon eggs pancakes all that at least once a week usually on a saturday or sunday we also have these, uh, the cheese pizza. This is a four pack. Cole and I usually make our own pizza at home. Um, we buy like a store-bought crust and we'll put our own toppings and stuff on it. But this is great for the kids. The kids love this. It's quick, it's easy. I sometimes even do it for after school snack because one pizza will feed all four kids and they're really hungry after school. Next, we have the tortilla crusted tilapia. Um, Cole's not a big seafood fan, um, but we started having this last year with Costco's tomato basil soup, I believe it was, and it's delicious. So I like seafood. I like having this on hand for something a little bit lighter than like chicken and all the beef. So this is a great option. Now, here's, I've already opened this box and the kids actually, um, Ate this for dinner tonight uh, so I'm just gonna show you and I actually opened it upside down so um, we got the dino chicken nuggets these are the kids favorite I've tried many other brands of chicken nuggets and they won't eat them so this is the brand for us um, and yeah so they love the dinosaur shapes they play with them on their plates and stuff like that okay these kids are picky so if they find something they like I just stick with it next we have the 72, whoop, turn it around, 72 waffles, uh, the Ego brand. These are, I can't tell you enough. Early mornings, I get my coffee in, and it's whatever's the easiest, the fastest, the most simple thing that the kids definitely won't, will eat. The last thing I want to do is spend you know, like a half hour trying to make this like breakfast for them and then just for them to pick out their plate and not really eat it. I want them to go to school full and ready to learn. So um, this is a great option for us. They're quick, they're simple, throw them in the toaster and they're good to go. So I think that's pretty much all the freezer stuff. Now we're gonna move on to the fridge. Um, we got the 2% milk. Um, it comes in a two pack, but I'm just showing you one. Next, we got the uncured um, kielbasa. And this is uh, Cole's favorite. Uh, when we grill hot dogs or anything, he usually likes to cut one of these up and throw that on the grill as well. Uh, we got the Nature Ripe Organic Blueberries. Logan loves blueberries. He will eat this whole container if I put it in front of him. He is in love with it. So I'm happy that he loves them. The other kids, not so much. So I pretty much, I'm not a blueberry fan. 
Cole doesn't eat them. So I pretty much buy these for Logan. And any way for him to get any type of fruits or veggies or anything, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, this whole thing is for him. And it will probably maybe only last like three days. Um, next we have the organic spinach and cheese ravioli. So this comes in two packs. These are two pounds. Oops. If I'm correct. No, I think one pound each. Anyways, this is a quick, easy, fast dinner option for us. You just throw some pasta sauce on top and you're ready to go. So like I said before, if, if it's fast, if it's easy, it's good for us. Uh, we have the organic eggs, 24 large. Um, so I usually like to eat eggs every morning. I'll do like avocado toast with eggs on top and all that kind of stuff. The kids love eggs. They will eat that before school in the morning too. So we like to pick up the big pack. Um, we have organic baby spinach. This I like to throw into my uh, shakes that I have for lunch. I drink the Shakeology shakes. So this is great. Just add it in. It's a good way to get my greens. I also added it to my breakfast. You can add spinach to anything and that's what I love so much about it is no matter what you're doing you can add spinach pretty much you can hide it in things and that's what I love especially for the kids and they never notice next we have the feta crumbles this is for the homemade pizzas that me and Cole or Cole and I make um this is the cheese we prefer prefer to put on top of them next we have so I have three three bags of salad kits first we have the organic barbecue ranch uh, we have the mediterranean crunch that's organic as well we also have the asian is this organic it's not it doesn't say it is and you know what it doesn't really matter because we're not really huge on organic we don't necessarily go out of our way just it's nice that when you go to Costco a lot of the stuff is organic so you kind of have a better peace of mind and you just feel like okay I'm doing something better but anyways so there's like three bags of salad those are each a kit Cole takes those to work those are for Cole he takes them to work they're an easy lunch because they have not only the salad in there but the dressing and the toppings and everything he just dumps it in a bowl and he's good to go. Um, we also picked up, or I should say I picked up because I went by myself, kid free by the way. It was like a vacation in Costco. And I took my time and I looked around, but I was good. I didn't, I desperately wanted to go into the houseware section and buy all of the containers, but I was good and I didn't do that. Um, Anyways, so I picked up one of their rotisserie chickens. As you can see, we already got into it. We had that for dinner tonight uh, because it is so hot. Do you ever have that when you go to the grocery store and you come home, you put it all away, and then you just like go grab food because you're just so tired from grocery shopping? So that's pretty much what the chicken was. Uh, we didn't feel like cooking. It's too hot to cook. It's like 95 degrees out, we don't have air conditioning, and the last thing we want to do is turn on the oven. Not going to happen. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the freezer and the fridge. Now we are going to move on. I have some produce here. I don't like to buy a whole lot of produce, um, just because you don't go through it in bulk. Um, I rather go like if it, it'll just go bad because we won't eat it fast enough and I've done that so many times before thinking oh it'll be different no I will just run to like Ralph's down the street and every week if I need something to fill in um, but there are only a few things that I like to get in bulk um, <laughs> so I put everything away and I'm just gonna show you one we got a um, I think it was like three or five pound bag of these um, clementine mandarin oranges. Uh, the kids love these. They're easy to peel. Um, the kids buy uh, lunch at school every day, but they are required to bring a 
snack. And sometimes they don't eat it and they'll wait till like when I pick them up and eat it. But um, these are great. They can peel them themselves. They love peeling them. They actually prefer to peel them. I try to do it and they get mad at me. So that's a great option for them. Also a great option that I like to throw in their backpack for lunch snack is um, just a good old apple. These are the organic gala apples and they come in this huge plastic pack and there was 14 of them. So uh, the kids each had one tonight. This is good because they can just throw them in the backpack, eat them for a snack, good to go. They also like to uh, have these cut up and they'll dip them in peanut butter or Nutella for like after school snack as well. Next we have avocados. Um, this avocados came in a bag of, how many do I have? I think I have six, five or six. Um, I like avocado toast with egg in the morning. So um, these are pretty much for me. Or we also like guacamole. So that's always an option. If I'm not eating through these fast enough and I feel like they're gonna go bad, I'll usually end up just making like this huge thing of guacamole for me and Cole. And we can eat that just, that's dinner. Uh, next is we have the Kirkland brand organic applesauce. So this tiny little pouch. There's 24 of these that come in a box. Uh, the kids love applesauce. This will probably go through faster than anything else. Um, I have Kaylee and Logan at home with me. They don't, they're not in school, so they go through these like crazy. These are great for in the, for the girls, um, for school snack, but Logan and Kaylee, they, they down these quick. And because it's so easy and convenient when you're running around, you just pop one open, give it to them. They're happy. Next we have, I got these, the children's multivitamin and we usually buy the Disney um, brand ones with all the characters and stuff, but I saw these at Costco and I've already had the kids try some for today and they don't seem to care about the difference. So it doesn't matter to them, which is great because kids can be picky and they can be choosy and I'm just happy that I was able to buy this in stock in bulk and save some money because <laughs> vitamins are expensive and this actually came in a two pack so there's two of these that we have next I have a big old bunch of bananas um, these again are pretty much for me in my shake that I make every day it goes along with the spinach banana and I like to throw that in there. The kids, this is a great option for them as well. It's quick, it's easy. They like to peel it, run around with it. All my little monkeys with their bananas. Next we have the Olive Garden Italian um, dressing. I'm like, I'm so tired you guys and it's so hot. My brain is fried. Um, so we don't actually use this on salads. I know, right? Like, why do you buy salad dressing if you're not putting it on a salad? Well, that's because we like to marinate our chicken in this and put it on the grill. So I usually will marinate it uh, around lunchtime or start marinating around lunchtime and by dinner time, it is so delicious. You have to try it. I would say about if you fillet two chicken breasts in half, so you get four fillets, four halves, and um, about half the bottle, good to go. This is delicious, highly recommend that. Next we have the Organic PB Fit. This is nice to have for my shakes um, because it's just easier, it's a little bit healthier for you. It's gluten, let's see, it's all natural, gluten free, and has protein in it. Um, it's good, it says blend me, shake me, and fake me. So you can do a lot with this. Um, I was using regular peanut butter, but uh, this is gonna be a healthier option. That and um, the kids need their peanut butter for PB and J's. So yeah. Oh, by the way, speaking of peanut butter and jelly, I got the organic strawberry spread. Um, I'm pretty picky with strawberry, like PB and J's and like what kind of strawberry jelly to put on. Um, I prefer the preserves, except for sometimes they have those big, huge strawberry chunks, 
and I know a lot of you are probably like, well then just get the jelly. Well, the jelly is really thick and it's like that gelatin type texture and it's really hard to spread. So I got this, it doesn't look like it has a bunch of chunks in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this and I hopefully the kids won't taste the difference if there is a difference, but come on, PB&J is a PB&J. Next we have the medley of rice ancient grains. We actually had some of this well, not from this bag, but we have another bag. We like this so much, I bought another bag. Um, we had this for dinner with the chicken tonight. And this is amazing. We usually eat white rice with um, our meals. And I got this because I was getting sick of plain white rice all the time. And I know you can mix it up and throw some sauces on there. But I was just looking for something a little bit more healthier and all that. Um, this has, what does this have in it? It has barley, wheat berries, red rice, oats, and quinoa. And it's ready in 10 minutes, so easy to make. I throw it in a pot um, and I cook it with cooking salt and not water. And I throw some butter and some seasonings in there and it is delicious. I highly recommend that you try this because it will change the way you look at rice and how you cook with it and all that kind of stuff and you can just throw chicken in it stir fries all that kind of stuff it's really great rice next we have the ancient grains granola with almonds um i'm trying to um, add more variety to my diet i'm not on a diet um variety to my foods that i eat um I don't like a whole lot of cereals, plus they're just filled with like a ton of sugar. Um, so I'm pretty much a like granola type of person. I prefer that. So this would be great for a good snack or in the morning if I don't have time to make my avocado toast that I love so much. So I got some of that. Next we have, next we have the organic sweet potato crackers. This has black seeds, sesame and chia seeds, chia seeds, chia seeds, chia seeds. Uh, it's gluten free, it's organic. These are amazing. I highly recommend these. I started buying these. My cravings for chips has gone down. I don't crave chips like I used to. I don't have the desire to go out and buy them. If I am in the chip aisle for whatever reason at the store, I do not think about getting anything. These, these are amazing. Uh, they taste great. They have that crunch. They have the seeds in there for that texture. It's just, if I want a snack, especially something that like a chip, this is what I go to. Next we have, next we have what pretty much I think all kids have eaten in their lifetime, which is a fruit snack. So we got the organic fruity snacks. Um, it has 72 pouches in it and the kids love these. We used to get um, like moths and all that kind of stuff um, but I was moving to doing more of the organic. We don't we don't stress about going going organic and eating organic but uh, it's always nice and it's Kirkland brand and it's a little bit cheaper than the other name brand uh, products so this is what we go for and the kids love them. So next we have the organic cheddar ducks and we usually do uh, goldfish and they do have goldfish at Costco. But I wanted to switch it up because lately the kids have been getting bored of goldfish every time I try to offer them some. They're just like, eh, I want something else. So I thought, hey, well, let's change up the shape. Let's get Where's that? Aw, it was on the lid. It was like the cutest little picture. But if you can see, like right up here, it's like, it has the mama duck and the little baby ducks. I thought the kids would get a kick out of it. Um, so we're going from fish to ducks. So what can I say? Plus it's organic. There's 45 one ounce bags. They look like this. They're tiny little bags. They're good. Um, for the goldfish, we would buy the big containers um, that you would open like those paper milk cartons like that and we would like pour them into Ziploc baggies for the kids. But these are great. Um, it actually wasn't that bad of a price and 
This is the kids. I could put this in the kids' backpacks. They can take it with them. Um, I can put this in the diaper bag, in my purse, take it along with me instead of fumbling around with a bunch of Ziplocs. So this is a great option to have. Next we have animal crackers. Uh, these are the Kirkland brand organic animal crackers. This, how much is this? It's a four pound tub of animal crackers. Logan loves these. Kaylee loves these. Everybody loves these. Um, we consider these like cookies in our house, at least I do, and um, we hand them out, but we're pretty cautious and aware that these aren't like the healthiest because they aren't, but the kids love them and we like to switch up what snacks they're eating and add some variety. So I don't like to get these every time we go to Costco, um, but I got them this time because I didn't get them last time. Next, we have the organic tortilla chips. Um, this is great. We love Mexican food in our family. So with the guacamole, we have the skirt steak. Um, that's what I forgot. Where are, I got a huge thing of tortillas. Um, so we like a lot to make a lot of Mexican food. That's what we do. Um, so that's what we got. Chips and salsa, guacamole, all that. Those chips are amazing. They're good. The ones we used to buy at the store, they're just too salty. So this is just the perfect chip for us. Um, next, we got a bag of Ruffles and a bag of Doritos. Now, these are not for us to pick up the house. This is for tomorrow. We're going to head up to my aunt's house uh, for barbecue and go swimming. I told her, hey, I'm going to Costco, so let me pick up the chips. And that's what I did. The Kirkland brand, 100% juice. Um, it's organic. It comes with 20 crisp apple, 10 apple grape, 10 fruit punch. I think that is pretty much um, it for the food portion of everything. Next, we're going to go into toiletries. So, while I was there, I picked up the EOS. It's a six pack. Six pack. It comes with a bunch of different uh, scents, flavors, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like to keep this. I like to keep one in my car, in my purse, pretty much anywhere I know I'm going to be just for backup. Um, I might even get some, give some to the girls because that way they can keep them in their backpacks and when they're at school they get chapped lips or anything like that. This is good for them to have. It's small, compact, and they're yummy and delicious. Next we have the whole thing of Q-tips. When you have a family of six, there's a lot of ears that need to be cleaned. I also got the facial moisturizer from Athena. Uh, this has broad spectrum SPF 15 in it, so I wear this under my makeup and it helps, and my makeup has SPF in it as well. So my face is protected from the sun, so no skin cancer for me. Next, we have the Colgate Total. It's a four pack, super size. And um, I mean, gotta clean your teeth of all this food. Brush your teeth, people, brush your teeth. Okay. So next we have the Kirkland brand um, shampoo and conditioner. So I have never tried this before, but in early August, I went from a brunette to a blonde and I need color safe shampoo and conditioner. I did, the day I got my hair done, buy the ridiculously expensive shampoo and conditioner from the salon um, because I didn't, prepare ahead of time and buy my own. So now that that's almost gone, it was time to stock up on something a little bit more affordable. So I got these, uh, they're ultra luxurious shampoo, safe for color treated hair, sulfate free, 100% vegan, paraben free and gluten free. And same with the conditioner. So uh, these are gonna be great. I also, I got one shampoo for me, and one conditioner for me, and then I got two extra conditioners and those will be for 
the girls for their hair because ladies come on we go through conditioner like crazy especially if you have thick long hair like me it's gonna happen and with i have three girls and they, it, they go through this stuff like crazy it's bananas hey guys so um i told you at the beginning of the video that i'd tell you how much i spent um and today's total for everything that i showed you here um and i'm pretty sure i got everything and i dug it back out of my cabinet and stuff but the total today was 562.99 so that is for the entire month of september for a family of six this uh, will pretty much take care of all of our food we might have to go to the grocery store just rouse down the street and fill in here and there with some produce but other than that we're pretty much set to go I pretty much think that is everything you guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any more videos um and yeah i am so excited i got to share this with you and hopefully you guys liked everything and we'll see you in the next one Bye.